Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Delilah Rose. This is Delilah Spiritual Spot coming with your uh, timeless zodiac readings. I am on vacation, so I didn't have time to do my normal 10 to 12 minute videos. So here uh, are the zodiac signs. They're about one minute each. I did also post them on my TikTok. Uh, so you can get a gauge on how long they'll be. So I hope you enjoy it. And next week, I promise I'll go back to the regular uh, stuff. Thanks. Hello, TikTok. This is your one minute reading for Aries. Aries, you need to rest your mind. There's a lot of decisions you need to make and you are trying to believe in yourself and believe in something so the advice for you is to take it easy trust your instincts and you'll be okay hello taurus i'm delilah rose coming for your reading today so let's just get into it this is a timeless reading you need to really connect to center go back to mother earth and fill your cup up because you are on a journey or you need to be on a journey of um, emotional renewal, of spiritual renewal. Uh, let's draw on my card, Taurus, here. And then you have the Wisteria card, which means meditation. So getting back to center. And this is for you, Taurus. And I'm Delilah Rose. Check out my YouTube page, Delilah Spiritual Spot. Hello, Gemini. This is Delilah Rose coming with your uh, timeless reading, and let's just jump into it. So you have the Five of Cups, and you also have the Seven, I mean the Eight of Swords. So you need to go in within here because there, you're definitely um, being very introspective about former battles and betrayals and also former heartbreak. You cannot go backwards. You need to go forwards, Gemini. Let's draw one more card here. And you have the fire element. Take action. Take action towards healing yourself. Finding your passions again. Because it's not in the past. Don't look towards the past. Turn back and look at what you still have. That's for you, Gemini. Thank you. Hello and welcome back to my channel, Cancer. This is for you. Let's just jump into it. Uh, timeless readings for Cancer. Cancer, happy families. You're all about your family and emotional life. You're trying to get it all together. You want to be, break, be this Knight of Cups and bring healing to everyone, but you need to bring healing to yourself first. You have practical magic and this means energy. Make sure you're reading the energy of your family, of the room. Again, you cannot heal everyone. You need to take care of yourself. Uh, recklessness and I feel like this is recklessness with your emotions because you are putting your energy all into everyone else and not yourself at this time cancer and this is your reading I'm Delilah Rose hello Leo welcome back to my channel here's your timeless reading so let's get into this Leo Leo you're working on a broken heart right yeah you're working on a broken heart and you're trying to get your fire back your passions back um, this could be work related, this could be relationship related, um, but what it boils down to is you're trying to find your mojo. Let's give you another card here. Inner wisdom. You need to heal heal that heart, heal that inner self to come, some, to come to some sort of realization about what took place. You have Garden's Gate here. There's endless possibilities when you begin to heal. So that is for you, Leo, and I'm Delilah Rose. Thank you for joining me. Hello Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Let's get into your read here. Uh, you have the Magician card and you have the Knight of Cups. You're very in tune with your abilities, uh, Virgo, and the magic is within you. What holds you back is your emotions here. Um, this represents a person or person's um, masculine energy. So for you, your downfall is always another person, never yourself. Let's do some Oracle cards here. You have the Garden Gate and you have purity. You need to get back to who you are, who your purest form is, um, and that starts at the beginning, taking care of your basic self and even going into your childhood and curing some of those childhood ills. You also have Garden Gate here, and the possibilities are endless when you don't let others influence your magic. Hello Libra, here's your timeless read. Let's just jump right into it here. You have the Sun, you have the Eight of Wands, and you have the World card. This is telling you this is your time. You have a lot of projects uh, that you're trying to accomplish. You're trying to conquer the world, and I like that. Uh, you're trying to 
make yourself happy by following your dreams. You're going to get some news in reference to whatever it is you're planning. Um, you do have um, the rose, which means confidence. Have confidence in whatever decisions you're trying to make. Um, and it will uh, come into uh, good fruition for you. You also have the manifest card, and that's what I was talking about. You can manifest whatever you want. Just have confidence in yourself. Hey Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. I'm coming with your timeless reading here. You have three cards. You have the strength card, the high priestess, and then you have the ten of wands. Make sure you're not carrying your heavy load. You're trying to fix everyone's problems and carry everyone's burdens and you cannot do that. Your instinct is kicking in over time. You really need to listen to it. You're not going to... There's some bad news coming here, and this is why I feel like the strength card is here. Make sure that you're relying on your inner self and know that you are strong and you can get through whatever um, the, the universe has for you. You have destiny. Destiny is at play here right now. So whatever is going to happen is going to have a major impact on your life. Here you have the strength card again. Rely on yourself and those people who are closest to you um, for strength. Find your inner strength and make sure your circle is tight. Hi hey Sagittarius, welcome to your timeless reading here. Uh, let's get into it. You have two cards here. You have the Nine of Cups and then you have the Eight of uh, Pentacles. You're working hard trying to get your family situated. Um, and that's in terms of emotional and financial balance here represented by these two cards. This is basically meaning your hard work is going to come to fruition and keep at the drawing board. Let's do some oracle cards here. You have Tiger's Eye. Make sure that you're not burning yourself out at this time um, and taking care of yourself. You also have Grounded. Make sure you're seeing the truth. We all want to bring the horses to the water. We can't always make them drink. So make sure that you are taking care of you and set the example and others will follow. Hello Capricorn. Here's your timeless reading. Need to get in there you have the lover's card and you have the four of pentacles and you have um the ten of swords so a lot of you are dealing with some betrayal in your relationships you're holding on too tight you can't make someone stay with you you can't keep them if they don't want to be kept there's a lot of lies and deception and heartache going on but at least you know the how the when and the why and it's going to be a time of healing for you you have letters and you have um, communication make sure you're getting your point across make sure you know that closure starts with you not with the other person you have purity go back to self go back to your purest self of what you want and what you need capricorn and make sure that that is what is getting fulfilled in your relationships welcome back to my channel aquarius here's your daily or timeless reading wherever you need it whenever you need it this is for you Let's just jump into it here. You have the King of Wands, you have uh, the Nine of Wands, and you have the Queen of Wands. So lots of fire energy here, which means your creativity, your spark, uh, your happiness. Stop trying to find your spark in someone else. It's within you. You need to be this queen energy, whether you're male or female. You have been hurt badly, and so you've put up this um, fence around your heart and emotions here. And it's directly tied into this abusive uh, person or relationship you've been in, whether male or female. Female. There are consequences um, to being in an emotionally abusive relationship, and it, the consequence is you. Here's the amethyst. You need to accept and have courage to move forward and on from this relationship. Hello Pisces, welcome back to my channel. Here's your timeless reading. Let's just get into it here. Two cards here. If you have the Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands or Arrows, you're, you're going to have a job opportunity. You're going to get the news about that really quickly here. It's going to be, be successful. It's going to bring you a lot of money. Um, and it's just all around good vibes and good news. Let's put out some Oracle cards here. It's through the connections you've had in the past that you're going to able, be able to get this opportunity. Um, and, right, here's community. So it's just connections you've had in the past that's going to bring this opportunity to you. It's going to be very fruit. Uh, it's going to be very fruitful here. Make sure you're taking care of your inner child here. Don't, less, don't let your past rejections um, 
interfere what's coming for you here. So take care of that inner child, that uh, inner hurt that you've had from the past. Thank you, Pisces.